This is the 82nd edition of La Flèche Wallonne between Serra and Le Mieux de Huy, spanning 198.5 kilometers over a tougher trail than in previous years. It features three new challenges, including Côte de la Redoute, renowned for the liege baston liege race. Before the start of the race, all eyes were focused on one man, Alejandro Valverde. The Spaniard won the last four editions and this year again remains the man to beat. From the first kilometers, eight riders, including four Frenchmen, took the lead. Valverde's Movistar controlled the race, keeping breakaways no more than five minutes away. The first alert came at the first of the three laps at the top of Mur de Huy. Several teammates launched an attack, amongst whom Kwiatowski and Landa. They were caught up again a few hundred meters further down. The first sharp attack was by the winner of Milan Sanremo. The, the Italian Vincenzo De Bali accelerated on the Côte de Ref slope and caught up the breakaways. They had a 40 second lead at the second crossing of the line. Only one team member still behind Valverde, Miguel Landa, but the gap narrows. 15 seconds at the top of Côte de Chirave. They finally grouped together at Mur de Huy. Schachmann, the last breakaway, is swallowed up by Van Endert and also by Alaphilippe, his teammate. The Frenchman sat firmly in the wheels, waiting until the last minute to accelerate. He overtakes Van Endert and holds off Valverde's attack at the finish. The Spaniard is beaten, coming merely second place behind the big win of the day, the Frenchman, Julien Alaphilippe. A long-awaited consecration for Julien Alaphilippe. Ranked second in 2015 and second again in 2016 behind Alejandro Valverde, the Frenchman finally defeated the Spaniard. This was his first win in the Classic. A highly emotional event for Julien Alaphilippe who succeeds Laurent Jalabert, the last Frenchman to win at Mur de Huy some 21 years ago. This is my third participation in this race and also my third time on the podium. Each time I was beaten by Valverde, frankly, I don't know what to say. I didn't even realize I had won. I couldn't hear the radio well and thought Nibali was still in front. I made the final effort and I just still can't believe it. For six years, La Flèche Wallonne has been kind only to Spanish riders until Julien Alaphilippe came along. Alejandro Valverde came in second but remains the record man for victories in this race, holding five wins. Ranked fourth in 2012, the Belgian Yellow Van Endert completes the podium. Romain Bardet came ninth, a fine finish, and his best ranking in La Flèche Wallonne. Anna van der Bregen, the clear favorite, maintained her status in the women's race. The Dutch rider won La Flèche Wallonne for the fourth consecutive year. Van der Bregen outpaced South African Ashley Moolman and her teammate Megan Garnier. We we'll leave you with these beautiful images of Wallonia. Be back this Sunday for Liège-Bastogne-Liège, the second to last monument of the season.